Hey guys, uh, back with another review of the iRulu EX Pro X1 7 inch Google for, for Android 4.4 tablet. This is a GMS certified by Google tablet. Um, it is quad core, it has a 1024 by 600 re resolution, and it has a 16 gigabyte uh, hard drive. This does come in a white color. Um, the box itself it comes packaged like so. Um, you have different things that you know, shows you that it's an Android and fairly cut and dry. Um, the box is a little over packaged for its size. Um, when I open it up, you guys will see what I mean. Um, this is a, this uh, this tablet, like I said, has a quad core processor, 1.3 gigahertz, uh, and has a Android 4.4 KitKat operating system. Uh, it does have an expandable micro SD slot, so you can expand up to 32 gigabytes. And it does have dual front and back facing cameras. Um, the front camera is 0.03, I'm sorry, 0.3 megapixels, and the back camera is also 0.3 megapixels. And this does have Wi Fi and supports 3G, but you will need an ex um, an additional dongle for the 3G which is sold separately. Um, this does support Wi-Fi 802.11 BNNG. The RAM is 512 megabytes. Um, inside you get the tablet, the user information, all instructions on how to use this. You get uh, a USB charging cable for it and the tablet already comes with a screen protector pre-installed which I really like about that so you don't have to hassle and fuss around with it. As we all know, a lot of us have issues putting this on. Um, this iRulu offers 24-7 live support uh, from their tech team. And uh, the tablet comes with a one-year warranty. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you guys what it's all about. Open the box. Um, I took the tablet out. I have it on the side here. So the tablet, which comes in this box, is white, as I said. It does come face down, packaged in bubble wrap. Um, and you have in the box, you have a little perks coupon to them. If you dig deeper through, you have a white micro USB charging cable, and you have your user user manual. Um, to go over the tablet, like I said, the screen protector comes pre-installed. I didn't take the screen protector off because this would be a tablet that I'm going to use for my kids in the future when they break their other ones. Uh, this is an um, inexpensive tablet, so you're not going to get your super high-tech features where you can play these super fast games. But this will do basic functions if you want to use it as an ebook reader, if you want to watch Netflix on it, if you want to watch YouTube, YouTube Kids. Um, this is a great alternative for um, to buy in a $200, $300 tablet. Um, I, what I usually do with these when I, when I buy them, I already have a, since I use these for my kids, my kids have the rubber silicone case that goes over it, so in case they drop it or throw it, these are protected. Uh, flip this tablet over, you have the following uh, break, breakdown of what this gives you. This shows you where your plus and minus volume buttons are, where your mic uh, your mic your headphones will go in um, you can charge this one of two ways this can get charged with a USB um, micro micro USB adapter or you can use a DC charger uh, previous versions of tablets that I've had from iRulu and other companies they come with a 5 volt DC adapter you can plug into your outlet and plug into here I keep that uh, as an alternate solution as you can see a lot, of, they don't come with a USB power block, so this would be a better solution. And I, I feel, by previous experience, it charges a lot quicker. You have your micro SD slot. Like I said, this comes with 16 gigabytes of memory, but you can expand it up to 32 more. Um, seven inch screen, screen protector on already. When you go ahead and you power it up, I had reformatted this, I played with it a little bit, I reformatted this back to day one, so it starts up new. Gives you your Android breakdown, gives you what the name of the tablet is. Um, gives you nice welcome music. Uh, not really necessary with the welcome music, but since it's the first time, 
you know, nobody might, people would, might not mind it. It takes it a, a little bit to power on. Um, then just, you go through the settings, your date, your time, all your setup settings, you set up your Wi-Fi, you set up, you know, your emails, and then once you set everything up, Let me just see if I can get out of this without setting anything up. Might not let me. I had set it up before. Let me try to skip this. You skip sign up, and there you go. So here it goes. It asks you what language you want. I'm in the United States, so I set it English. I'm gonna skip the Wi-Fi setup just to give you guys skip. Just skip through all the stuff just to, just to show you guys what it's all about. So, this tablet has a bit of a different setup than other ones that I have and I've seen. So, you have apps that are on the side menu, you have apps on the bottom, you have your Google Voice search and your Google button. Um, the main bar that's on the bottom that's your home screen, so you could scroll and put apps on there. This is obviously, in all the tablets, you've seen this across the bottom where it's a stay bar. I like it on the side. It's nice. Um, open it up. You have your standard apps that come with everything. You got your Play Store, your Chrome. <clears throat> um, this comes with the iRulu store. They have their own little store for apps and stuff. But everything is how it should be and where it should be. Uh, overall, great little tablet for the price point. Like I said, I buy these for my kids. There's no need to buy an expensive, expensive tablet for them to wreck, for them to wreck and go through. Uh, that's the first mistake that I ever made was I bought an expensive $200 tablet and that was broken within three weeks. I mean, they've grown up and they've used them better now, but these are for some reason more sustainable to falls and drops. Uh, the screens don't crack that easily. So these tablets are able to take a lot of abuse and I'm very happy from it. So. Like I said, if you guys are looking for a low cost tablet that you could use as an ebook reader, give it to your kids, you know, maybe something that you just you just want to have that's not expensive that you can just play around with. This is definitely something to get for you for yourself. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Oh, one more thing, the battery life on this, which I forgot to mention, uh, depending on how much you use it, uh, if you use it and abuse it where it's on the whole day. Uh, from 100% down to zero, you will probably get about, I'd say about three hours tops. Um, I usually lower the screen the screen brightness down to the bottom if I'm, you know, I'm watching a movie, especially if you're in a dark room, try to save a little bit of battery life. Uh, overall, the battery life is where it's supposed to be. If you're using it on and off throughout the day, you'll get a full days, if not more, work out of it. Um, I've been able to get out of this one. I had a laying around, just laying, not touching it, not playing with it. Uh, it lasted about four days being without charging. But the battery life was still going down. So once I started using it, the battery life started dying quicker because lower percentage. Um, like I said, any questions? Leave me guys, a, leave me a comment. Thanks, guys.